Entertainer and activist Harry Belafonte has died at the age of 96. He died at his home in New York City of congestive heart failure surrounded by family. His death brings words of praise from one Chicago leader who calls him a hero and a friend. CBS 2 Sarah Maki has more on Harry Belafonte's legacy in Chicago and she joins us live in the newsroom. Sarah. Yeah, Jim, Harry Belafonte stood next to Martin Luther King Jr. at the 1966 Chicago Freedom Festival, advocating for better housing conditions, one of several stops that he would make in the Windy City over the decades. And you can still find some relics of his visits at one house of worship on the south side, St. Sabina's. And that he stood in this pulpit, he stood in this church time after time after time. Father Mike Flager walks every day past the photos of a man he calls his hero and friend, Harry Belafonte. He had a major shaping of my life and my formation of who I am today because of I had such admiration for him. Flager sat down with us at the same table where they celebrated Belafonte's 90th birthday, recounting their last call a couple of months ago. We spoke on the phone and he uh, was weak, but he sounded strong and just sharp as ever. Flager no longer has a record player, but holds on to this album, signed during one of Belafonte's dozen visits to St. Sabina. I love you, peace, Harry Belafonte. Though it's another song off his Calypso album that made him famous. Hey -oh. Belafonte built a successful entertainment career as an actor and singer, risking it all for civil rights activism. He said what he said and what he believed and let the chips fall where they fall. He was true to himself. Flager says it's that legacy he'll remember the most. This is somebody who you want to know about, read about, study. And the lesson he'll now bring to the sanctuary on Sunday. We need the new Harry Belfontes and our young men and our young women. Flager says this Sunday sermon is directed at the congregation's youngest members. He said they already had a guest speaker planned, but this is the perfect time to talk to them about leadership. He says talking about Belafonte's legacy will be a part of their program. In the newsroom, Sarah Maki, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Sarah.